On a recent family vacation, my partner asked if she could see my phone right after we got to our hotel room. She took it from me, walked over to the hotel safe, locked it inside, and turned and looked me right in the eye and said, you get this back in seven days when we leave. Whoa. I was shocked. I was kind of angry. But after a few hours, something pretty cool happened. Without all the distractions from my phone, I was actually able to disconnect, be fully present, and I ended up having a wonderful family vacation. But it's not just me. Our team has heard so many stories from people who are trying to find the right balance with technology. As you heard from Sundar, helping people with their digital well-being is more important to us than ever. People tell us a lot of the time they spend on their phone is really useful, but some of it they wish they'd spent on other things. In fact, we found over 70% of people want more help striking this balance. So we've been working hard to add key capabilities right into Android to help people find the balance with technology that they're looking for. One of the first things we focused on was helping you understand your habits. Android P will show you a dashboard of how you're spending time on your device. As you saw earlier, you can see how, many, how much time you spent in apps, how many times you've unlocked your device today, and how many notifications you've received. And you can drill down on any of these things. For example, here's my Gmail data from Saturday. And when I saw this, it did make me wonder whether I should have been on my email all weekend. But that's kind of the point of the dashboard. Now, when you're engaging is one part of understanding. But what you're engaging with in apps is equally important. It's like watching TV. Catching up on your favorite shows at the end of a long day can feel pretty good. But watching an infomercial might leave you wondering why you didn't do something else instead. Many developers call this concept meaningful engagement. And we've been working closely with many of our developer partners who share the goal of helping people use technology in healthy ways. So in Android P, developers can link to more detailed breakdowns of how you're spending time in their app from this new dashboard. For example, YouTube will be adding a deep link where you can see total watch time across mobile and desktop and access many of the helpful tools that Sundar shared earlier. Now, understanding is a good start. But Android P also gives you controls to help you manage how and when you spend time on your phone. Maybe you have an app that you love, but you're spending more time in it than you realized. Android P lets you set time limits on apps and will nudge you when you're close to your limit that it's time to do something else. And for the rest of the day, that app icon is grayed out to remind you of your goal. People have also told us they struggle to be fully present for the dinner that they're at or the meeting that they're attending because the notifications they get on their device can be distracting and too tempting to resist. And come on, we've all been there. So we're making improvements to do not disturb mode, to silence not just the phone calls and texts, but also the visual interruptions that pop up on your screen. To make do not disturb even easier to use, we've created a new gesture that we've affectionately codenamed shush. <laughs> if you turn your phone over on the table, it automatically enters do not disturb so you can focus on being present. No pings, vibrations, or other distractions. <laughs> of course, in an emergency, we all want to make sure we're still reachable by the key people in our lives, like your partner or your child's school. Android P will help you set up a list of contacts that can always get through to you with a phone call, even if Do Not Disturb is turned on. Finally, we heard from people that they often check their phone right before going to bed. And before you know it, an hour or two has slipped by. And honestly, this happens to me at least once a week. Getting a good night's sleep is critical. And technology should help you with this, not prevent it from happening. So we created wind down mode. You can tell the Google Assistant what time you aim to go to bed. And when that time arrives, it will switch on Do Not Disturb and fade the screen to grayscale, which is far less stimulating for the brain and can help you set the phone down. It's such a simple idea, but I found it's amazing how quickly I put my phone away when all my apps go back to the days before color TV.
Don't worry. All the colors return in the morning when you wake up. Okay, that was a quick tour of some of the digital well-being features we're bringing to Android P this fall, starting with Google Pixel. Digital well-being is going to be a long-term theme for us, so look for much more to come in the future.